What's up, guys? Manny Lore here from Fantasy Cruncher here to give you a brief, updated, refreshed tutorial on how to use the late swaptimizer. Here I have a brand, not a brand new slate, but the slate that took place yesterday. I do have a CSV available, available uh, to use, and all you have to do is go to the DK lineups page and download it there. Download the latest one. So I'm going to post to you the example of it's it's 7:30. Someone got late scratched, and we want to not just fix projections, eliminate the player that got scratched but then redo our lineups and upload them to DraftKings, right? So uh, with the CSV, which is all you really need for this example, is you go over to the late swap tab, right? You'd select, and this is all self-explanatory, but I'll walk you through it. Um, select your DraftKings CSV. Again, you get that from your edit entries page on DraftKings. You'd go in there, you select it. You can't see me selecting it, but I, I'm telling you I'm selecting it. And this is what happens when you upload it. So a few things to do here. What I recommend is... This is all you really need, and you'd click Swaptimize. All you're seeing here is the guys that are locked and games that are already passed or have already started, uh, and then you would click Swaptimize. When you click Swaptimize, all it's doing is it's using the same settings you already have in your advanced options, right? So if you have three uniques, 49,800 as your settings, when you Swaptimize and it, it recalculates the lineups using the players that are locked, all that's gonna happen is all your settings have to hold true and you'll be able to create lineups this way. Now, where I think some of you get trapped or, or confused is, let's say you're playing 150 lineups, 50 lineups or 100 lineups, however many, 20, uh, but you're playing them in multiple contests, right? If you use the unique lineups, you'll just see your 100 or your 150 or your 50 or 20. Even though there are multiple tournaments, you'll see only the lineups, right? That way, when you switch them here, they are going to be reflected in all the tournaments you're playing. So if I'm playing two different tournaments, right, and I have a set of 20 here and the same set of 20 here, all I have to do is change the 20 once, and it'll be changed in both tournaments, right? But if I have, uh, say, a new change of thought and I want to switch all my 40 together, I'd go to Total Entries, and then it'd show me all my 40, and I'd change all 40 of them. That way I have... 20 different lineups here and also 20 different lineups here, right? And that you would do by there. Usually, and what I do is, I run my same set of lineups in multiple tournaments. So if I'm running 100 lineups, I am running my 100 lineups in two, three, four tournaments, and I do this for all sports, right? So I'd leave it on unique lineups. But in the rare case that you differentiate all of them, which is something I do on FanDuel, even though they don't have late swap, I play 150 in one tournament, I play a different 150 in a different tournament because it's really close to similar stakes. Uh, so I'd love to make 300 different lineups. In that case, I'd use the total entries feature, even though unique lineups would be the same thing since you have 300 unique lineups. Uh, a different thing that you can, for the more advanced users, let's say you only want to, uh, you know, replace a subset of these lineups and not all of them. You have the ability to unselect all. And let's say I just want to redo these three only. I then click swap optimize with these three here. Um, but in the case I only want to do, and if you guys notice, we have a player usage tab here on the right side. Let's say I want to select the Bledsoe lineups only. I see them here. Then I select all my Bledsoe lineups only because I, all of a sudden I don't like Bledsoe and I'm, I'm pressed for time. There's five minutes left and I only want to redo these. I don't want to redo all my 150. Then I would swap to using these only. If you do get errors, which some people will get errors, as the night goes on, and there's, say, just two games left, and you still want to swap optimize because something happened in the last two games or something happened in the last game that you want to swap optimize. Um, remember that when you do swap optimize, it still has to hold all the settings true. So three unique still has to hold up, and 49,800 has to hold up. But because I only have these two guys that it can possibly switch, and in, in I, I don't know, say a couple of these lineups, I only have one guy I can switch, maybe the three uniques doesn't hold up, and that's why you'd get an error, right? Well, I can't, the, the optimizer is just saying, I can't have three uniques in this lineup uh, or three uniques in this lineup because there aren't enough players for me to switch around that can hold up to the three uniques and the 49,800 threshold that I have. So that's when you'll probably get an error. Not because you're uploading the wrong document or the wrong Excel file or you have the wrong settings or wrong anything. It's usually the uniques and usually or usually or and or usually the the salary the the minimum salary right this right here 
So consider sometimes when there's less game going down to 49,500, 49,400, if you want 49,000 completely, and then if you want to go to two uniques or maybe one unique, right? Uh, to make sure all of these switch, even though there's not enough players left, maybe it can get you a few more lineups uh, converted, then that would be the way to do it. It's pretty self-explanatory and anytime you need help, Remember, there are tool tips all around. So if you just hover over the little eyes, you can read exactly what certain things mean uh, and, and maybe you get help that way. Um, I hope this helps you guys. I hope uh, you understand how to use the lineup swap optimizer. Uh, it's very, very beneficial for, for uh, not just NBA, but MLB and NFL. Although those are tricky, I'll be making separate videos for those, uh, but you should be good to go and, and that should help you. This is a refresher 2020. This is how I use it right now. So if, if you still had questions, feel free to hit me up anywhere. If you find me in the lineup study or the fantasy cruncher discord, if you want to be, uh, if you want to send an email, I'm available through email support, or if you want to follow me on Twitter at mlora, I'll help you there too. Good luck everyone.